welcome, welcome back to City Skylines, and here we are still at Big Bite. Big Bite is still up and running on uh, these two. So, in the last episode, we unlocked. We didn't unlock that. We unlocked the Worthy Village. So we're going. We're going to go through and have a look at these. So let's have a look at districts and policies. So under the zoning and districts, you'll now see there's a new tab opened. District painting tools. Thank you. So we can now paint a district. So let's start and paint this district just to show you. So it's now called Belmont Park. We can, if we want to, erase it or we can have a look at it. So we can have a look. We can select a style of building. So should we have a European style or should we have a default style? We'll have just the default style at the moment. So there's Belmont Park. So let's just designate these little districts here. So we've got Belmont Park there. We've got Middle District. And let's do this one. And we've got Walnut District. So there we go. So we've got three districts. Um, policies, second lane, district specialization. So let's have a look at the info, uh, not the info views. We want to have a look at policies. So we have some policies unlocked. Power, water and the smoke detector distribution. Um, they all cost money, as you can see. We're not going to do any of those at the moment. Um, so yeah, we're not going to do any of those at the moment. So there we go. The district policies or the district specialisations are here. They're mainly for industry. So forest, farming and generic is what we've got. And generic, if you leave it without a policy it's there. Um, it's just normal, uh, normal sort of um, um, so I was just looking chirper. There we go. It's, uh, it's just the normal default buildings that come in. So, what else have we got to unlock? Um, we've got the fire and police. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get the fire station and the police in. So the police, uh, sorry, the fire station first. So again, we're going to look at where it's going to give us the maximum coverage. Now, really, I could do with it being down near the industrial. Or we might put it. Hmm. I want it to cover as much as I can. I'm just wondering whether we're going to have to put it on here. Let's put it on there. And then we'll put the police building down as well. We're probably going to need to get power to them too, by the look of it. No, we're not. Um, we'll unpause it. So there we go. So we've put our police and fire station in because no doubt we're going to get a fire at some point so it seems to be as soon as you uh, unlock something you end up getting uh, you get in a fire or you get crime something along those lines so we've got massive demand for residential so we need to get the uh, we need to get residential sorted so let's continue with some zoning and we're going to do we're going to do the filling rather than just the uh, selected tool. So let's just get these zones filled in and, and work our way towards the next milestone. Can we fill anything in down here? Yeah, let's just fill all of that in. And that... And we'll do some beachfront property there. Or some riverfront property, should I say. Uh, commercial, we've got a bit more... So let's maybe fill in <coughs> these two and should we do commercial all the way down there? I don't think we're going to do it all the way. 
But what I think we might do is just go... No, 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 let's just wait. Yeah. Got some decent commercial zones going. Or should we put some commercial just at the end of here? No, let's let's wait and see what happens because we've got some commercial being built here. We did fill those in, didn't we? Yeah. We might just fill these in here just to fill that up. What we might do is uh, when we unlock it, we might stick some parts or other stuff in it. Well, the other thing we're going to look at was the unique buildings, won't we? Um, so we've got some landmarks. So we can put the Statue of Liberty down if we want. Don't know where we're going to put that. Yes, I've already done it. And we've got a level 1 unique building. And we've got a Statue of Wealth. So we've got the Lazarette Plaza. So, should we put the Lazarette Plaza down? And if we do, where should we put it? <clears throat> should we put the Lazaret Plaza sort of on this main drag here? I've already unlocked the... Uh, I've already done the elementary school. Or should we put it up here? I'll tell you what, we'll put the plaza there. <clears throat> Let's have a look at it. Okay. So we put that plaza down. Uh, what else did we have? We had a statue of wealth. I might not put that down here because I want to put that somewhere sort of um, quite prominent. It would be quite a big statue. I want to put it somewhere prominent. Uh, yeah. So we're growing nicely. Traffic's running okay. <clears throat> what I might do, though, is I might just get rid of um, the traffic lights here. Just to let traffic run a little bit easier. Uh, there. And there. Just so we can replace them with stop signs. I'm not bothered about in the in the... Uh, residential districts because they, the traffic shouldn't be that bad in the residential districts. But certainly on this main street here, which is going to get quite busy, I don't really want massive tailbacks. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, we need to continue with uh, the residential and commercial, but. I'm just wondering whether or not we need to put some commercial, just a little bit of commercial. We've got some commercial there. We've got some there. What about if we put some down here somewhere? <clears throat> what about if we put some commercial just at the end here, at the end of Harris Street? Let's try that. We're going to have to run some power down, though, because the power doesn't... Water's white. So yeah, the power's not covered there. So we'll wait for that to happen. Um, I suppose we could zone... Let's zone that residential, actually. We'll just get rid of this power. There we go. Right. So. <clears throat> this district is now filling up. We're going to have some commercial this side of it. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to build on this. So, well, yeah, we'll have to wait and see um, how they're going to build, sort of, south of Harris Street. Um, Walnut District soon okay. But let's just have a little look at Walnut District itself. So again, we can select the style of building, we can look at the traffic routes, and we can actually do the district policies. So again, it brings up the same menu that we had earlier. So we can actually specifically set a policy for each district. But at the moment, <clears throat> we're not going to do that. 
just now let things continue. Uh, we've got a bit of a demand for some industry. So let's just fill that bit in. Ah, here we go. We've got a commercial building. All right, so they've just built straight out. Hopefully it's not another petrol station. Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Be another fast food joint. It is. It is a yakisoba tasty noodles. Okay, so we've got a noodle uh, noodle shop down there. Uh, a little bit more demand for commercial, so I'm just wondering, should we put another just couple of commercial? I don't want the whole lot. Maybe just a little bit down here. Just so those guys down there have got some. Uh, industry, are we filling up? But we're going to have to start expanding these residential zones a little bit more, I think. I'm just wondering whether, before they start building here, should we just build out a little road? Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, guys. Just wanted to build a little road out there. Just to uh, bring a road down, sort of this way. Just to sort of expand the residential zone a little bit. Let's just fill these bits in because we just destroyed some houses. There we go. Massive demand for commercial now, so we're going to have to go down this main street, I think commercial wise um, yeah I think that's what we're going to have to start doing so let's select some commercial zones here I don't want to do too much and we'll have some commercial zones right here but I don't want there we go. Excellent. So, get some more commercial in because the commercial demand is just uh, going through the ceiling at the moment. I want to leave these clear so I want to put some parks in it. That's the uh, that's what I want to do. I might put some commercial just going into the residential zones. Hmm, that might be something to think about. It's got a little bit of commercial down here. So we've got some shops down there that they can go to. We've got this little road that's snaking down here. That we can then... Let's start... Well, let's try it. Let's do a bit of freeform, shall we? Let's do a little bit of freeform. And we can snake this road to go here. Turn round. And then come back on itself. Just to make a, a different type of shape than the normal, just sort of uh, straight, angular type roads, which we've got a bit of. Because when we do the high density stuff, we're going to have a lot of angular stuff in there. So um, I don't want too many angle, too many sort of straight angular roads. Although I'm now starting to put some in, but that's only just to separate these up a little bit. Just so we've got a little bit more uh, room to work with. So we're going to have to increase the area of Walnut District. There we go. Looking okay at the moment. We're looking alright at the moment, I'll be honest. And um, how are we doing water-wise? Water-wise, we're fine. Uh, a little bit more demand for houses so let's get that one filled in and we can fill these bits in here now 
commercials coming back up again. How's the traffic doing? Traffic's fine. Yep, traffic's absolutely fine down there. That's good. No real traffic coming around the... Where's he going? Um, somebody trying to rob that shot. Not sure what was happening there. But, um, yeah, there you go. So, the man's just telling off a little bit. Oh, and we finally reached uh, Tiny Town. So, on the next episode, we will go through all of these. We've got some new stuff to unlock. Uh, some new canals, some new buildings, and some parks. So, um, so yeah. So, we'll, we'll pop through that on the, uh, on the next episode. Um, as always, we finish on Big Bite. So... Thanks for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll uh, catch you again soon.